And in today's vlog, I have another huge announcement and item to share with you. Hey team besties, how are you? I wasn't sure whether I was gonna put this segment of a video in with the vlog I've already recorded or separate. So I decided to do two separate videos and then I can choose when I'm editing. I've already shared with you my home mini collection and the three items. We have two of them behind me here. We have the Granny Square Art, the Granny Square Mirror, and if you want the reveal, you need to go and watch the previous video. Make sure you come back to this one as well. And then I also have my key ring. And in today's vlog, I have another huge announcement and item to share with you and I'm really proud of myself look how much I've managed to get done if you are returning then hi hello welcome hope that you're tickety boo and if you are brand new welcome to HDDC HD Design to Crochet I am a crochet designer I absolutely love 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 granny squares I am a wife, I'm a mama to a two-year-old boy and I'm just happy in my life and I share snippets, snippets of it here on YouTube with you. My most favourite pattern out of everything I've made is my iconic bag. Closely followed by my revival jumper but my iconic bag is up there. I've made it like four or five times now. Um, it's the pattern that gets the most comments, the most love, and it sparks so many ideas. I'm gonna introduce you to my new pattern. This is my new pattern, it's called Allure, and it's a granny square mini tote. It is completely crocheted. You do not do any sewing on a, on a sewing machine. There's no fabric, it is entirely crochet. And this is the first pattern of my subscription. <laughs> it's so good to finally announce that. The first pattern will be, a, this one, this is my first pattern, will be officially available um, on Granny Square Day, which is the 15th of August, 2024. The subscription will start on the 1st of September and then the next pattern will be available from the 1st of November and then the 1st of January and onwards and onwards and onwards. What do you think to the bag? Do you need it? You do, I know you do. What do you think to it? A couple of details for you. It is made entirely of double knit acrylic yarn. You can use any fiber content you wish as long as you get gauge. It is using the two round mini square which I'm absolutely loving at the moment in case you hadn't noticed. Um, and these do look so cute together as well. Oh wow. I think it needs its own. The Bag is designed to be to remain open and it's like a tote where you just pop a load of things in and off you go. I crocheted the straps and then I did sew them on with a needle and a, dar a darning needle and a thread. So that's the only bit of sewing really. The seams are crocheted together and then for it to retain its shape, it has the canvas mesh within it and then you create these reinforcement panels and then it holds its own shape. So it holds itself up in a 3D shape and that's the secret of having a bag that just looks designer. Do you not think it looks designer? I decided to go with Join As You Go at Granny Squares and then um, I wanted it all completely different colors. I then used this fuchsia as is it fuchsia i've googled this so many times i decided to use this as the joining color and then i did the contrast handles 
One handle is slightly bigger than the other because I may or may not have counted properly because I may or may not have had a toddler helping me, but I've given you the correct amount of rows in the pattern. I did add a magnetic closure and I've given details in the pattern of how to add it, but I'm not gonna lie, it didn't turn out quite how I thought it would be. And I have said in the pattern that I would omit it if I was to make another one. So, this is allure. And allure means to be fascinated by, to be attracted to. Perfect name. So that's bag pattern one for my subscription. I have had ideas in my head for quite some time of introducing a new revenue stream. Crochet design has been my full-time job since 2021, but in that time I've also had my son. So I have dealt with pregnancy complications and I have also been on maternity leave raising my son and all of those things and I took a bit of a break from HTDC this year I knew I needed to make some changes and yeah I've been through a lot of all of this in previous videos I'm going to link them all below for you um I might even make a 2024 playlist so you can see how the years progressed and when I took that break, I knew that my collection, as it, as it was at that point, I was going to cancel it. And I did cancel that collection. And then I began designing my new mini home collection, which I have shared. And that will be launching um, on the 15th of August, 2024. But one thing that hasn't quite been working for me is that I put all of this time in to release the collection and then it's like a one-time thing in the year and it's done and that's good in the sense that that's just my one big deadline but then on the other side it's not as good because there's a lot riding on it um, and I have so many ideas like so many design ideas that to try and cram it all into one collection wasn't quite working oh my voice to cram it all into one collection wasn't working, but then to, I, what I'm saying is I needed some sort of structure, but something that wasn't like crippling. I didn't want anything that was too heavy and unsustainable. This is the first pattern of my subscription. And I can actually show you now part of bag two because I have the parts for the sample here. So this is a law. And the second bag panels are here. This is going to be a shoulder bag. Um, and you've seen me working on this in vlogs. So now that the collection has been announced, I'm really excited to get this one finished and to testers. My plan is, is to be ahead, very, very ahead of the releases. So now that my mini collection is done, I have taken a week or so to just work on other projects and creatively recharge. And now I'm gonna go full force on getting the next samples done. I have about eight, nine, 10, maybe more ideas for bag patterns. And I want to go all in and get enough patterns made and tested so that there is enough for an entire year just to really give myself that breathing room. And then once I've got to that point, I can then recharge on some new projects and then start a whole new wave of patterns for my subscription. Here's another bag that I have been working on for the subscription. It's still in sample stage because I wanted to make some changes. I didn't like it at the time, but now I actually do really like it. I'm really pleased with it. Don't know if anybody else gets like that, but 
I make something and then I need to step away from it. Um, but my thoughts were potentially making a round of granny squares to go on the interior so that you don't get that peak of canvas and potentially covering it in cotton rather than acrylic. So there is another future bag along with so many others. I can't show you them all in one go. So what do you think to this bag, Hello. What do you think to the idea of a subscription? The reason I've gone with every two months is because I felt like every month was creating a bit of a churn. It was putting out patterns for the sake of putting out patterns. Not only was I unsure if you'd be able to keep up with making them at that rate, like making a bag every four weeks. What if you want to make other projects? What if life happens and your baby gets poorly or you just need to take a bit of a break? I didn't want to like overwhelm you with bags. I wanted to be able to space them out. And I also wanted that for myself. Putting out a bag every month is like, a lot to manage but every two months just gives me that little bit of a breather and then it also means that on the second month we can have a get together chat I'm not sure if I'm going to do that on zoom or discord or where I'm going to hold that but I really want us all to be able to show off what we've made so you'll have four weeks to work on your project and then we'll get together for a chat in the second month so that'll be around the first of um, October for this pattern and then we'll be able to share all the colors that we've chosen maybe we'll sit and work on a second one together maybe you'll just need to finish the ends on this one whatever it is we can all sit and have a chat whilst working on them and showing them off and then it's a way that I get to meet you all and that's exciting because I will say that when I went on my social media break I missed you all so much I missed having, I missed just being able to post and be like, look at what I've made. I missed seeing what you were making and I missed a lot of your tags and I just missed my community. I really, really missed my team. And this is a way that we can spend more time together. Really, 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 really hope that you love this idea as much as I do. I don't really have any expectations for it. I do not know how it's going to go, how many people will sign up, but I do know that you're going to love this bag and that I'm excited to try a new venture with HGDC. It's quite crazy because not only will I be known for granny squares, but in time I'm going to be known for bag patterns. And as I also said, these bags will then be my collection for 2025 because I'm really trying to work smarter, not harder. So if you've purchased them all via the subscription, then obviously you'll get access to the collection where they're all in one document with no extra charge. And then I, I'm going to do figure out some sort of sliding scales and maybe you only wanted to subscribe for three then I'll figure all of that out later on and you'll get a hefty bonus so you can get the remaining three. But then it means that anyone that didn't want to sign up to the subscription, though I really hope you will, um, maybe it's more for people. In my mind, it's more for people that find me at a later date once the month for these particular bags have passed, then they can buy the collection. And then also that means that I won't have that big push because I've spread out the work for the collection over the year. Working smarter, not harder. I'm really excited. I'm, I'm not going to lie, I'm excited because I knew that I needed to make changes to HDDC. This is going to be the way that HDDC is sustainable around my life now. And I mean, who can, who can resist this? Okay, let me know below what you think. Okay, take care team and I'll see you in the next one.